Howard County Muslim Council was originally formed back in 2002, um, and it was formed after 9/11 when that incident happened. Uh, uh, we thought that our community, particularly our youth, is kind of uh, feeling little insecure, and also uh, they wanted to make sure they have some interaction with the elected and political officials, the government. Uh, so from that thing in the in the mind, we started this council back in 2002, and since then. Um, we have been working with the local administration in the Howard County as well as the state level and the community at large. Uh, and the council's goal is not only to serve Muslim population, but in fact the residents of Howard County, which includes uh, even non-Muslims, because the events like this, we're doing food drive. Uh, it goes All the food we collect goes to uh, the Howard County Food Bank, and uh, there's an Elkridge Food Kitchen. Uh, we generally have, I would say, uh, at least hundreds of volunteers because uh, not only the community volunteers like youth and the parents, um, but uh, even the like Howard County Council, uh, the elected officials like senators, the delegates, they also request us the, the food drive material and we provide them and they go in their neighborhoods and then in return collect the food and also uh, mobilize their campaign office folks to get the food for this event. So right. if I say total, I think we, we get over 100 uh, at least actively involved, uh, but then uh, at the event we get over 200 people. Uh, there are a couple of ways uh, we can do um, the three different um, kind of uh, tracks uh, we do. One is that we go in the neighborhoods and we have the flyers here, and if I can have this one just to show. Uh, we have a flyer here which is called a door hanger. And this door hanger has the message on it. Uh, what we do is that we take this door hanger along with a plastic bag and, and hang it on the doorknob uh, in our neighborhood. So we give it each volunteer like 50 to 100 bags to go around. And some volunteers go to those apartment buildings. Uh, and then we generally leave these a week before the actual event. So since this event is on September 15, uh, we will leave these door hangers maybe next Friday, which is September 6th. If anybody has problem, we can do next day also. But at least we give uh, the homeowners at least a week time. So whenever they go for grocery in that week, they collect some food for our food drive also. So we go to different grocery stores in Harvard County. Um, so uh, I have myself contacted and some of our other directors uh, and other volunteers have gone to some stores and I'm sure uh, Elia has gone to some stores. So we seek their permission because we cannot collect food outside of any grocery store without permission. So once they allow us a, a date and a window of hours like from 10 to 4 let's say or 10 to 2 or whatever it's 4, 4 to 6, that window is the only time we can collect the food.